Hey you guys, this is Yolanda from Yolaji Holistic Wellness. Just sort of doing a weekly recap on tarot advice. So um, these cards are gonna be for your weekly update for this week beginning in June 27th, or is it 27th? Yeah, we are 27th, to the end of the month, um, up to July 2nd, which begins this weekend. So let's see what's going on with your week so far. So right away you have the the chariot. So the chariot is reminding you to stay focused, to stay on top of things. Allow yourself to aim for the finish line. Don't let outside distractions interfere with any of your plans. Um, don't let social media prevent that obstacle from getting things done, um, especially when it pertains to self-improvement, um, ascension, or maybe your business and things like that. The Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is saying that there is something that is on the horizons. This is going to be some type of news. It could be something that you read. It could be something that type of message that you receive from a family or a friend and this mood this um this message pertains to something spiritual loving or within the family or within a f uh, your community so um this is going to be um good news and it could maybe be like an unexpected pregnancy um or it could be an unexpected wedding um an engagement that sort of thing um just some sort of family involvement or maybe some invitation to a party or an event or an anniversary so that is good news um you also have the tower card so the tower card some say eh, it's like a doomsday kind of card but for me it depends on your outlook so the tower card is a universal card that actually is a universal lesson we cannot change this but it is a lesson on how we control things and how we stand firm in ourselves to handle the situation there's going to be a lot of restructuring there's going to be a lot of regrouping so it's like you need to really ask yourself what can you do to build a new foundation on the things that need to be built in order to be you know to bring long-term growth is what you need to to remember so i'm not sure if you're planning on relocating or moving selling a house or something like that but if you are um this card has a lot to do with that if you are a business owner or if you are an entrepreneur this may be a card that signifies making the firm decision on the things that you do want and rebranding or restructuring maybe taking time to develop how you want your business to be projected and what goals you have okay um in relationships could be the same thing you're restructuring maybe you are recommitting or redefining your relationships maybe you are um, redefining yourself maybe you are trying to figure out what kind of things you want in your life what you need to seek your own happiness so to speak okay the next card um, is also going to be the um, let's see the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords tells me that there is a lot of restructuring and rebuilding um, from square one. And that is mainly because we might feel that there is a lack of. There is a lack of something in our life that is not supporting us. And so we are choosing to walk away from the old ways or the old perceptions that we may once had. Okay. The... Next card is the star. The star is all about socializing, networking, meeting new people, creating a likewise community that support us in our own unique way, but also manifesting. It's a star of 
wishing upon a star, creating it, making it happen, envisioning your dreams and seeing it as a new reality in a new light in retrospect. Um, and just creating that, harvesting it, right? And then you have the Eight of Pentacles, which eight is all about abundance and being comfortable and content, having the things that we do have, you know, that we do need in life to support us on our spiritual growth, our financial growth, and our mental and uh, emotional well-being as well. So this is about nourishment, being comfortable, and pretty much defining what our long a long-term plans are going to be because things have might have changed for you this week you might have had an epiphany um you might have reevaluated on some of the things that you've been giving away too much of your time and energy and finances on and you are or even in relationships um and so you're just kind of like i'm ready to live you know like abundant i'm ready to live prosperous i'm ready to live elegantly within my own skin being comfortable um and providing and nurturing for my own self in some sort of way so i hope you guys enjoy that thus for this week and stay tuned for the next week